Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Madison. I am a first year second grade teacher and today is day one of my classroom setup. As most of you know, if you've been watching my videos or follow me on Instagram, I have been waiting for this day for so long. I mean, I've been out of school since March, so I feel like I've just been on summer break for so long. And as you see, I have my car packed full and I still have furniture in my house. I have furniture at my parents' house back in St. Louis. So I know I'm excited. We're all excited to get my furniture out of there and into my classroom. And so yeah, let's head on over. All right guys, I made it to my classroom. I will give you guys a quick look around and then I'm gonna start bringing some stuff in. up I am sweating I have been going in and out from outside I parked my car at the end of the building that way I could just bring it in but it is 9 a.m. and it's already like almost 90 degrees here so it's gonna be a hot and sweaty day <laughs> I brought everything in from my car. Now I'm waiting for my parents to get here. They're driving in from St. Louis, if I didn't already mention that. Oh my God, a breath. Um, they have a U-Haul full of stuff. So I'm waiting on them and then we'll bring some more stuff in. guys we successfully brought in everything <laughs> I have a lot of stuff oh my gosh so we're actually not allowed to bring anyone into the building to help us so my parents were just kind of bringing it up to the door and I had to carry it in which is fine um, but this is definitely gonna take me longer without any help to do my whole classroom <laughs> All right guys, it's a few hours later. As you can see, I've changed. I am wet, it's pouring rain outside, which is nice because it cooled off a little bit. But 
I will show you all the stuff that I brought in and what we have done. So it's getting pretty late. I am probably just going to stay to move around some things, maybe just try to organize as best as I can, go through some boxes. I'm going to be back up tomorrow to go through the rest of my things, but I just want to stay for another hour or so just to go through my stuff. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. I have my bookshelves in. I have a couple other bookshelves, but I'm going to probably put them in that corner. This black rug will not stay here. I'm just setting it there for now. This rug will be here, but I got these for $15 a piece at Target and I love them so much. I got that for $10 off of Facebook Marketplace, repainted it white, and I love it. Now, we just gotta tackle this. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, I am back. I was just out in the hallway talking to some of my coworkers. They're so nice. I love them all so much. We had to actually change around a bunch of people in the school. I luckily got to stay in second grade. My friend Kathy, who's at this school, got moved from fifth grade to fourth grade. One girl on my team got moved down to kindergarten, another girl got moved to online, and then a fourth grade teacher got moved down to our second grade team. So we're all over the place. So now it's me, another first year teacher, which I'm so excited about. Shout out to Annie if you're watching this. I'm so excited to work with you. And then we have a veteran teacher and he's awesome, so friendly, so nice. And I know he'll be kind of like the dad of the group and he'll be able to help us out with anything we need. And so yeah, I was just out there talking to them and now I'm going to tackle this. Right now I'm just going through all my markers, pencils, all that, putting them into bins. And then right now I'm just storing everything. It's not organized at all. I'll go through it and organize it later with like bins and labels and stuff. But for now, I just want to get it out of the way. So I'm going to put it all up there. I am getting a little overwhelmed. I have so many boxes and they're all packed full of just like stuff. <laughs> Whenever I packed up my old classroom, I was in a hurry and I literally just threw it all in there and I'm regretting that now because it's just a lot of stuff to go through. As you can see, I'm sure this is like giving you mad anxiety looking at this. Well, I'm right there with you. So I'm just going to spend some time going through this, throwing out stuff I don't need. I'm trying to put stuff in bins. I'm gonna put them up there so that I can at least put them somewhere and I don't just have them all sitting out. A lot of this stuff I'm going to be able to put in my teacher toolbox, which is back there. So I think I'm gonna start working on just putting all of this away. I 
I have made a lot of progress, actually, believe it or not. You know, it still looks a mess. It is way better. Basically, I just kind of tried to put things in piles so I knew where things were. So these were all the bins that I found in boxes. I'm keeping all bins there in case I need them. A few stragglers I need to put away. This is all just like anything that I need for setting up. So like scissors, tape, staples, you get it, you can see it. All of this is mainly stuff that I'm gonna put on my desk, which as you can see is a little preoccupied. <laughs> so I'm just gonna have to leave that there until I get all this other stuff gone. That box is full of binders. If you follow me on Instagram, <laughs> you can see that on my story. I asked you guys, what do you use your binders for? Because I want to make good use of the ones I have because I, no joke, probably have like 30 binders. I've just accumulated them over the years. The last classroom I went to, the teacher that was there before me left a whole cabinet full of them and then some of them are my own. So I want to use a lot of them. I'm sure I will have the students use some of them as well. So leave down in the comments what you would use these binders for. I know I'll definitely use a sub binder and a data binder, but what else do you guys use? I put together my toolbox and let's just say I definitely do not need any more paper clips. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Um, so I just kind of put whatever I had in them. I actually had a lot of stuff, put little thank you cards in there. Um, some of these I don't have full of yet. So tape, ton of binder clips, full of stickers. Um, these extra ones I just have random stuff in that I didn't know what I would need. So I have like magnets in there. Um, dice in there, toothpicks, empty, and then these are all popsicle sticks. Okay, I definitely need to reorganize this. Okay, yeah, these are popsicle sticks. I use these to write kids' names on them and use them for various things in the classroom. So I will probably make new labels that label what each of these are. But yeah, this is mainly just decor, like bulletin board stuff. So I'm just keeping it there for when I need it, I can grab it. That is all decor. That is kind of a variety of decor pencil sharpener, just like Amazon stuff, furniture, and then these are all books. If you guys were wondering, this is not mine. This is actually um, our school's curriculum. We just got some new writing curriculum, so they dropped it off over here for us, and it is my job to go through all these boxes and put all these books in there, so that'll be really fun. Not doing that today. <laughs> Another day. Isn't this crazy? Guys, I literally probably have over 30 binders. Like, Tell me what I can use these binders for. Please leave below in the comments what you would use these for. I don't want to just throw them away. It's been a while since I have filmed. I have just been running around like crazy trying to get this room organized. And I went over to Kathy Kellogg's room. Um, she is Mrs. Kellogg's Bunch on Instagram. And she is actually right across. I can see her through these windows, her room. And so I've been going over there and just hanging out with her and helping her get her room together too. It's been so much fun. Um, I thought it was so much later than it was. I thought it was like seven o'clock and it's only 4.30. So I have a little bit more time to be here than I thought. So I have just been going around getting together all of my stuff. I put that there. That's not going to stay that way. It's just where my furniture is being held for the moment. <laughs> and um, I'm thinking I want to tackle the classroom library. I was going to wait to do that tomorrow, but I might get started on it now. We'll see if I get distracted doing something else. So these are all my books that I have. I have three bookshelves little bookshelf right there I have this pink bookshelf and I actually have another black one that is coming and then these are the school's bookshelves I'm not thinking I'm going to keep these in here just because I have all those but it's good to know if I need another bookshelf I have it so really what I need to do is just start going through all these books labeling them and categorizing them
All right, guys, I just finished, well, finished my classroom library. I have a lot of work to do on it, but I'm liking how it's looking. So I think I'm done for today. It's been a really long day. I woke up at like 7.15 and it's currently 6 p.m. <laughs> so it's been almost 12 hours of nonstop go, go, go. And I feel really good about it though. I feel like I got a lot done today, even though my room still looks a mess. It looks like I haven't got anything done. I really have. So I will show you guys what I got done today and I will be back tomorrow morning for another full day and I will vlog that as well. So let me show you what I got done today first. Okay, these are all my boxes. These I'm keeping out here for now. Yeah. <laughs> that is everything that I have put away so far. So even though it looks totally chaotic, <laughs> I promise I have actually got some stuff done today. I started to separate my lamination, just things that I'm going to put on my walls, um, bulletin board stuff. It's all coming together. I just have it over there for now because I'll probably work on bulletin boards tomorrow. This is all stuff I had for my other classroom, my alphabet, colors, shapes are in there somewhere, birthday signs, be a champ signs my bitmoji classroom rules so this is all going to go somewhere i just don't know where yet then we have the classroom library which i think looks really good for only being in here one day so far so that black rug will not be staying there <laughs> i just have it there for now because i'm not sure where i'm going to put it but um i have my chapter books right here my picture books right here and then these ones have kind of an assortment of chapter books and picture books so not sure how I'm going to label it I don't think I'm gonna keep those there because it looks kind of bad but those are just more chapter books I might just end up putting those in a cabinet there or there so yeah that's what the classroom library is looking like we are not keeping our kidney tables in our classrooms um, so that's why this will not be here so I'm not even sure if I'm going to keep these um, we'll see how small group stuff works out. I'm going to have the custodians take those out of my room, so then I will have a lot of counter space. These boxes have like tissues, um, like hand sanitizer, Clorox wipes, a bunch of stuff like that. So I'm going to put all those in there tomorrow. This is not going to stay like that. I don't like how it looks, it's like too pink. Um, so <laughs> I just have it here for now just to have furniture put away, but this will definitely look different. I might have that table over there with the stools, this over here, who knows what I'm gonna do. <laughs> and yeah, I have all my bulletin board stuff out over here. This is all a little messy. This is all of my desk stuff. So I'm waiting until my desk is cleared off to put all that up here. And that's going to be my little wall. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's coming together. So that is going to be it for day one of classroom setup. I know it was kind of a long vlog and it was kind of all over the place, but I was doing my best to film as much as I could while I was running around like crazy trying to get things organized and set up. But hopefully tomorrow will be a little bit more relaxed. I can just come in and kind of put things away and start working on my bulletin boards, which will be really fun and really exciting. And I think the room will start to look more together when I have my bulletin boards done. But overall, I think I got a lot done today. I feel really accomplished. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited to come back tomorrow. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe down below so that you don't miss tomorrow's classroom setup day two and i'm sure i will have many classroom setup videos maybe three four or five who knows how long it will take me to get this room completely ready for my kiddos but i'm so excited either way it's a lot of work but it's so much fun so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you next time bye